What's up everyone? In this video, I'm gonna show you how to make these amazing sourdough waffles. They're light and fluffy on the inside, crispy on the outside, and an absolutely wonderful way to use up your sourdough discard. This recipe is also very versatile. You can serve it with 100% pure maple syrup, whipped cream, your fresh fruit topping, maybe even some fried chicken, and it's always going to be a hit. The other thing I love about this recipe is you can use almost any grain you want. We're gonna focus on einkorn today but if you'd like to use whole wheat, spelt, red fife, any of those heritage or heirloom grains are gonna work awesome for this. Let's get started and make some waffles. Let's start our sourdough waffle recipe by making an overnight batter. Now you're only gonna need a few pieces of equipment for this recipe and a few simple ingredients. We're gonna start looking at the equipment. You need a spatula, digital scale, a Cambro container or stainless bowl or something you can leave your batter in overnight. If you're going to mill your own grains like we are today, you're gonna to need a flour mill, which you can see here. If you don't know anything about milling, you can always check out the full guide on my site on how you can mill your own flour. And finally, of course, you're going to need a waffle maker. Now, if you don't have a waffle maker, don't let that deter you. You can still make this recipe into a great pancake. Make it a few times and then you can make the decision whether or not you want to purchase waffle maker. For the ingredients, we're gonna use 100% einkorn. Now, I've chosen to use einkorn kernels and I'm going to mill the flour. We need sourdough discard. If you're like me and you bake a lot of sourdough, eventually you're gonna build up a little bit of discard in the fridge. Now, by minimizing your feedings and reducing waste, we can really cut this down, but at some point, it's likely that you will have this. We're gonna use buttermilk and of course, we're gonna use pure maple syrup. I've taken the sugar out of the recipe and opted to use maple syrup because, well, I like it better. Let's get started and make the first batter. The batter is gonna rise overnight, it's gonna ferment, and then tomorrow morning, we're gonna add in our last ingredients, mix it up and get it in the waffle maker. We're gonna start by milling our einkorn. If you don't have access to this grain, you can use whole wheat, you can use spelt. I've done it with both and the results are excellent. So we're gonna come over here, turn on our mill, and I'm gonna mill this on its finest setting. We're gonna do 300 grams of sourdough discard, 470 grams of buttermilk, 40 grams of pure maple syrup, and 400 grams of freshly milled einkorn flour. Once you've got all your ingredients in, we're simply gonna mix this up and then let it sit overnight. So take your spatula and start to mix. Once you've got your batter, we're gonna scrape down the sides, get everything off that spatula, grab a lid and we're gonna let this rise overnight at room temperature. You can leave this anywhere. You can put it on your counter. You can put it in a warm spot. You can stick it beside your waffle maker. It doesn't really matter. I'm gonna clean this stuff up and tomorrow morning, we're gonna mix our second stage of the batter. Our batter has rested for 10 hours and it's time to mix our final batter. You can see here, it looks clearly risen. It's got nice bubbling around it and it smells a little bit sour. The batter looks beautiful. Now on the table in front of me, I've got eggs, baking powder, baking soda, salt, melted butter, a spatula, a whisk, and a stainless steel bowl to start the mix of our batter. We're gonna start by cracking our eggs into the bowl. Next, we're gonna add our butter to this. Just keep in mind, you wanna let this cool a little bit after melting so you don't cook the eggs. We're gonna add a little bit, whisk, little bit, whisk until it's fully combined. So start by mixing your eggs. Add a little bit of the butter. And then go all in on the butter. You're gonna wanna mix this up well until fully combined. Add your salt baking soda, and finally, baking powder. Give this a good mix and try to make sure you don't have any lumps from the baking soda or baking powder, but if there's a couple, don't worry about it. Okay. We're just gonna move this tray out of the way. 
And now we're gonna add our liquid measure to our overnight batter. So again, really important, make sure you get all those clumps out of there. Scrape down the sides of your bowl and go right into your batter. Give your batter a really good mix to make sure that everything is fully combined. It's gonna look spongy and thick and really, really nice at this point. You should notice, if you see any streaks from the egg yolk, make sure you keep mixing until it's fully combined. Our batter's mixed and we're gonna let this rest on the table for about 10 minutes while we heat up our waffle iron. Our waffle iron is hot and ready and it's time to make some of the best sourdough discard waffles you've ever had. For this step, we're gonna need some tweezers and a spatula or a fish slice, just something to get them out of the machine with. You're gonna need a ladle. I couldn't find my smaller one to be honest for this video, but if you have a smaller one, it's a little better or something you can pour the batter from. You're gonna need a spatula to wipe down your container. And then finally, I like to use a cooling rack so that I can chill the waffles after and they don't steam during the process. We're gonna open our waffle machine. You're gonna take your ladle and you're gonna ladle it just into the middle. Now this waffle machine has a timer, so it's gonna beep when they're ready to take out but yours will be dependent. So keep an eye on the temps and times and you're gonna have to make some notes and figure out what works best for your machine. Now that we've got our batter in, we're gonna close the lid gently and it's gonna press the batter into the hole. So you don't need to press really hard. We're just gonna let it kind of like expand and go into those holes. If you don't fill everything out and it's not a perfect square, don't worry about it. It's still gonna taste great. Time to take our first set of waffles out. Let's see how they look. So I'm gonna take my spatula and my tweezers and I'm gonna just grab the corner and try to release the corner. And what that should do is allow me to take everything out. There you go. And I kind of just use the spatula for support. Now, of course, the smart thing to do is to move the tray over here and just pop these out onto your tray. You can see now we've got beautiful golden crispy on the outside einkorn sourdough waffles. The smell is incredible. The crunch, they've got that soft inside. I can't wait to eat these. Let's make a couple more.